What's up, guys? This is Kaylee Johnson here with Digital Journey. I'm so excited to have you here as we are launching our podcast. If you're a person that's wanting to learn social media, maybe that's just for you personally, maybe it's for your business, this is the right place for you. So, Digital Journey, who are we? What do we do? What's our purpose? Digital Journey is a company that was started at the end of 2023. So our goal at Digital Journey is to teach you and your business, your entrepreneurship, whatever that may be, how to grow social media. Now, there's many different ways to do this. So this podcast is going to be about talking about tips, tricks, what are some trends that are going on in the social media world. Maybe you're wanting to know different tools that you can use or need idea for content creation. That's what this podcast is going to be about. We're going to be having guests come on, and it's going to be a super fun time. First off, you don't know me, so I want to tell you a little bit about my background in social media. I got my first social media platform, Facebook, at the age of 13, and I fell in love with social media. I had grown up overseas in Europe, so I really liked the aspect of being able to connect with people all over the world, and Facebook was a great way to do that. When I got a little bit older, I got Instagram and Snapchat, and I kind of got discouraged with social media. I realized how much negative and discouraging impact it can have on teenagers. I was seeing it in my friends with people getting depressed, having FOMO, and always wishing they were doing something else. I kind of put the brakes on social media and decided, this is it. I don't want to go any further. Alrighty. And I started telling people, you know, stay off social media if you're depressed, anxious, which, you know, can be good tips for the time, but I was adamantly against it. As I got a little bit older, I started wondering why social media was considered a negative thing by adults around me and why I myself considered it negative. I wanted social media to be used for good. Most things in life that are good, you can take them and turn them bad. And I knew social media wasn't leaving anytime soon. It's around to stay. So that's when I decided I wanted to learn how to use social media as a leverage for good and for positivity. This got me into social media, specifically Instagram and Pinterest. Pinterest because I love doing it with all my crafting things and I like to be able to share boards and ideas with other people. Instagram, I loved the aesthetic of it. I loved being able to put videos of me playing the piano on it. I loved being able to post my poems along with an artistic photo I had taken. I've always been artistic. I've always enjoyed photography, painting, piano. And so being able to show off that and explain my emotions and feelings on Instagram was really cool for me. One thing that was always on my mind throughout Instagram was the fact of authenticity. I would see my friends post things and realize this is not authentic. They're adding filters to things. They're making it seem like their life's great. When I just talked to them two hours ago and they were a crying, hysterical mess because their life was falling apart. But we try to put on a good face when we're in front of people. And that's what it comes out to social media. And that frustrated me. So I decided I'm going to post on social media and I want to show that you can be real and authentic on it. Since 2015, I have been creating and starting new social media platforms. The first one started with one of my good friends, and we started a meme Instagram account, just posting goofy memes because we both loved memes. So since the age of 15, I've been interested in the analytics of social media, how that runs, the ins and outs of it, what's the best times to post. So yes, me and my dorky self was the girl who at 15 years old was spending her time analyzing Instagram, and not for her own personal ones, but to see how well a trending meme was performing. After that, I created a social media area for my service dog, and that was a really fun journey of learning how to reach a larger audience, discovering how to interact with other influencers and collaborators. Well, I say other. I was not one. But with influence and collaborators and connecting with them to make content. That was a whole unique journey as it was definitely outside of just the meme world and focusing a lot on informational sensitive subjects. I enjoyed that. 
When I went to school at Union University, I majored in communications. I loved the school. The professors that we have in the communication department are incredible, and I learned so much from them. I ended up taking a social media class, and I fell in love with social media creation and learning all the ins and outs of it. I was able to create my own platform, my own nonprofit there, and realized I want to keep doing this kind of stuff. I want to stay involved in the creative aspects of social media. We did interviews with people, blog posts, social media posts, and really learned how to tell stories. We worked a lot on advertising and figuring out what's the best way, how, what's the difference between paid ads and organic leads, and diving into a little bit more of the analytics on that. A little bit later, I got into more of the marketing PR side of it in some courses and realized I love this as well. After that, I worked at a company for a year and a half, a large nonprofit, working on their social media. There, I learned so much when it comes to experimenting with posts and doing type A, type B posting and how to interact with commenters and people engaging with you. What's the timely response to do things? So my journey with social media has not been short. There are other things besides those, but those are some of the ones that I like to talk about and I think are interesting. Social media is a journey, hence digital journey. You're always learning. It's always changing. Therefore, you always have to be changing. And I want to help other people learn and grow and change in that way also. Hence, this podcast, Digital Journey. I want to teach people that social media doesn't have to be complicated and it doesn't have to be fake. Social media is about sharing your story, your product in an authentic way. And that's what Digital Journey is here to do. Now, how did the name Digital Journey come about? I like to think of life as a journey, and I know that's cliche. Everyone says that. I get it. But it really is. There's ups, there's downs, there's highs, there's lows. And that is also applicable in the social media world. There's going to be times when you create posts that do fantastic. And then you might take that exact same post and post it a year later, and it flops. So things are always changing in the world of social media. And then the digital aspects, well, obviously, it's a digital journey. I'm here walking it step by step with you in the digital world. So that's how Digital Journey came about. So there's a little bit of a background about us, about our company, a little bit of a background about me. I'm super excited to get to launch this podcast and I want to hear from y'all. If you have topics that you want me to cover, if you have certain questions about social media platforms, let me know. You can reach me on Instagram, on LinkedIn, on Facebook, um, at Digital Journey right there and let me know if there's something you're struggling with. I'm super excited to, about some of the guests that we're going to have on here in the next couple weeks. We have some cool, amazing individuals that are going to come on here and share tools for you. If you are interested in social media, this is the place to be. I'm going to give you tips and tricks on how to post, when to post, what's the best things to post. I'm going to show you how can you create content in an efficient way that's still going to be amazing. We're going to work on repurposing content so that you're not always having to create brand new content, but you can take posts that did well a while back and reuse those. So I'm really excited to hop in with y'all. This is going to be a once a week thing. Super stoked. And I will see you next week. Thanks for listening.